This is a Victory Gunner, and no, this motorcycle is not mine. This is my friend's bike, and he essentially let me ride the bike for about a month. He is, I guess, the second or third owner of this motorcycle, and when he received it, this is how it came. So he did not do these mods to the motorcycle either. Now I bring this up because in the last video, some of you mentioned how some of the modifications on this motorcycle aren't necessarily safe. So we're gonna talk about that. One of the more obvious things you guys mentioned are these handlebars, which of course are not stock. I was wrong when I mentioned what brand these handlebars were. I said witch doctors, but some of you corrected me. These are actually the mercenary bars by F&B Choppers. And <laughs> they have a very pointy look to them. But I can tell you that even though they look very unsafe, well, they are unsafe. These are some of the most comfortable handlebars I think I've had on a motorcycle in quite a while. I'm gonna tell you why. See, I'm five feet, 10 inches. And when I'm sitting on this, uh, I guess, death trap, it, uh, <laughs> the uh, handlebars complement my height well, and I'm able to kind of relax when I'm sitting back versus being too far forward. The biggest concern with these handlebars is the pointiness of them. And of course, if there's something that ever happens, these <laughs> handlebars can actually, I guess, prick you or stab you if the uh, the bike is for some reason you're pushed forward or the handlebars are pushed back towards you. I couldn't tell you why the previous owner put these handlebars on there, but obviously they could have been of a taller build or they just wanted something that looked more aggressive because most handlebars are not going to have pointy and sharp edges to them. But these handlebars, again, they're definitely comfortable and they can also be readjusted if these are not to your liking. Can you imagine? just being rear-ended or something and you get pushed so far forward that your visor just goes straight through that or something like. <laughs> so definitely I guess you could just roll these bars a little forward where they're not so pointed, but now it ruins the position where I was comfortable. Um, yeah, it wouldn't take much to roll them forward, but I don't know, it's just, it's just so comfortable. <laughs> I don't know. Now, I personally think they look fantastic with this setup. It has that very aggressive styling with this big front wheel on the, on the front. And these handlebars tend to flow well with the lines of the bike. But at the end of the day, this is definitely, not necessarily more style over function, but for me, like I said, at my height at five feet, 10 inches, this, this setup, even though it looks dangerous, it fits me pretty well. Another more subtle modification to this bike are these little bitty signals right here. There's also one on each side mounted to the rear tail bracket. The problem with lights like these is not necessarily immediate, but being that these lights are smaller, that doesn't necessarily mean they're not brighter, but when you're comparing these to the standard DOT light, these are not gonna be as noticeable or bright as a standard DOT light. However, the previous owner, more than likely, they wanted that more discreet look to take away from that stock, bulky uh, turn signal look, so they ended up putting these on and I guess you could say that this is more style over function because of course you still need a turn signal. But the problem that I think we're having right now, big time with these lights is this motorcycle tends to keep blowing fuses. So the other day I changed out the fuse and it's essentially blew again. So somewhere down the line, there's possibly a short in this wiring or it could be like a loose wire touching the ground and causing this thing to pop fuses. But again, Style over function. Another more discreet thing that the previous owner did was take the reflectors off on the forks, also on both sides. Now the big thing about motorcycles is that you can't really see them at night from the side. There's really nothing on the side of this motorcycle that can glow or indicate that something is there other than seeing the front light or the tail light or the odometer. So the whole point of those reflectors is to give something for light to bounce off of when you see them at night. So obviously that's not really safe. For instance, on my V-Rod Muscle, you guys can see that it has the reflector still there on both sides. So it doesn't really look out of place, but many people would have either taken these off or swapped these to maybe a more clear reflector versus the DOT compliant orange one. But again, it's all about, in this case, style over function. Comparatively on the 109, the reflectors tend to sit right in there and I took mine off and then it pretty much looks stock. But again, when you see this bike from the side at night, being that there's no reflectors there, it's less visible. The headlight is also not stock. This is a modification. And I can tell you that this one is definitely not style over function, even though it does weight the front end of this bike up. It is, 
it is very bright so it has function as well another tasteful mod that stood out to me were these aftermarket clutch and brake levers you guys can see that it has these little tabs right here and those tabs allow you to rest your fingers <laughs> in between the two i know it looks like why would you even put that there but honestly this is actually very comfortable especially on bikes with heavy clutch feel it sets this bike off really nice and of course it just goes well with the black this bike does have avon grips on it i love avon grips and also on this side we have the throttle palm which comes in very useful when you're going on the highway if you don't have cruise control rather than keep the throttle open the entire time you just put your palm there and it basically gives you a rest on your palm so these things are very nice to have i also have a set of avons on my m109r these things are very <laughs> worn in you can see they're smooth right here of course you can't do that on the throttle side but i have a throttle lock to compensate for not having the uh throttle palm right here another interesting mod that the previous owner did was this gas cap i was at the <laughs> the gas station trying to figure out how to open this thing like i was trying to twist but what you have to do is actually press it and turn and that reveals this portion and then you simply twist and it gets it off so it's a tasteful mod um, I guess you do have to worry about your gas possibly being siphoned out versus them having to take the Allen keys off. But either way, I mean, they can do that anyway without the, uh, the key. But hey, it's a tasteful mod and definitely, uh, I guess it's not completely unsafe compared to stock, I guess. This exhaust, of course, is not stock. <laughs> definitely far from DOT compliant, but it is very beautiful and sounds wonderful. problem I've possibly had or somebody could possibly have is being burned by this midsection right here so you got a heat shield right here but pretty much once you get right here that's pure exhaust and I haven't burned myself on it but I have come close to moments where my leg was sitting a little too close yeah look at my shoes it was sitting a little too close and I felt the extra heat coming off of it so that definitely could be a problem with this mod if somebody's not paying attention but it's totally style and function it, it sounds amazing and then we got this nice old tail rack to put your non-alcoholic beverage back here where you could put like a you know a good old extra person back here or you could put many things back here i don't know what would you what would you put back here if you had this bike obviously luggage but yeah you could fit a lot of different stuff back here there's a bunch of other little tasteful mods that are done on this motorcycle but my big question for you guys is if you bought this motorcycle with these handlebars, what would you do? Would you change them out or would you just leave it as is? Because of course, again, these are very pointy, so they could be dangerous. Like I can only imagine sitting at a stoplight and being rear-ended and then you fly forward, hopefully between the handlebars or your visor ends up connecting with that. And that could be a very bad day, especially for me coming from a guy that was punched in the face by a random pedestrian while riding on my motorcycle so anything can happen and also you could be riding in the front end of the bike gets smashed up somehow and then these are still being pushed towards you so anything can happen while on the road but my question again is what would you do because even if you don't change them out i guess some of you also recommended that you would i guess roll them more forward versus them being more back but like i said for my height it works a lot better because it's just like I'm more relaxed while I'm riding. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. But the big takeaway from this is that when you buy used motorcycles, you're buying someone else's customization, someone else's mod, someone else's vision, and of course, somebody else's problems. So you never know what could happen when you're riding a motorcycle, especially considering this bike is now popping fuses. Used ownership comes with many different problems and in this case this motorcycle really isn't a problem so again it's popping fuses so i just got to figure that out but again let me know what y'all think about that in, in the comments but if you have not seen my first ride on this motorcycle or my impressions video you can click right here and that'll take you right to it but as always thanks for listening to my story and if you're subscribed i'll see you in the next one